Hello everybody, this is Drinking in a Year to conclude the second trial. So yes, we got eight more combatants to go before the second trial concludes. So let's see if we'll be in for any more surprises and shocks. And kicking off this session, we are going to have Silver Knights. Here, representing Silver Knights, we got a Penticeratops. Silver Knights was unsuccessful in the first trial, so they do need to get some points here. Ideally, well, they want to, they, well, ideally, they want to pass this trial and get nine points, as, as anyone would. But, the minimum they need is at least two points. Taking on the Penticeratops, we got Gorgosaurus. We haven't seen too much of this guy in this, in this trial. Not many people have picked the first Team 1. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see how Silver Knights does. Ooh, good start. Getting the first hit on the board. It's always, it's always a welcome sight. Ooh, that's a tie. Gatlin Spark getting triggered. Ooh, but the Gorgisaurus gets the hit. A crit. And pretty much evens things out. Oh, it's a fire cannon! Well, that was a good start from Silver Knights, but things not looking good now. They need to kill this Gorgosaurus. They have to kill it. Other tie. Oof. A relief there for Silver Knights. The Pentaceratops does land the next hit. Oh, is this Lightning Axe? Actually, yes, it is Lightning Axe, and that will mean the Gorgosaurus will go down. Oof. Well, they've, they've at least got themselves off the mark in this trial, but it doesn't look like they're going to get maximum points. Right, coming in next, we got a Rhinoceratops. Not much to say about it, really. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, not good. Pentaceratops not looking very good there. Like Gorgosaurus could do a number on it. But at least Silver Knights got the points, got the two points. But can can they somehow get three? Four. Nope. Quick as a wink. The pet the, the, uh, the, the skydive comes in to finish off the Pentaceratops. So yeah, that does mean well. It does mean that Silver Knights is going to have to succeed in the third trial to have any hope of getting to that last 16 round. But at least they've given themselves a chance. Okay, representing Clay Foliage in this trial, we have Super Eel Carcaria. Well, we've got a few of these for this second trial so far. And none of them have really done that well. So, yeah... The, oh, the signs are good for Clay Foliage here. Although I do believe they passed the first trial, so they only need the two points. And well, uh, taking taking it on is predictable and common. Dime a dozen Lillian Sternus. Hmm, so I'm not sure how he's going to fare with in this trial. Okay, wake the mode is on the free. Well, you get a start like that, you're going to fear very well. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, the dino swing! And well, we've seen it in the pre in a previous session that this Lillian Sternus is heroic type, so this is a good match for it. Look at that! But the death fire has been triggered. Oh, hang on. A Jet Shuriken. Oh, look at that! For those... That's for those of you that think Lillian Sturdis is a pushover. Oh, it's a Dino Swim! The curse of the Eocark area continues. Wow. Wow, everyone that's used Eocark area for this trial has been absolutely stomped. By Lily, I think by Lily and Sturdis as well. The curse of the Eel Carcaria continues. 
Okay, this could be interesting. Representing the storm for this second trial, we got Maximus. One of the armored dinosaurs that never really sees play. You know, I think everyone always uses Gygus or Brontokins or Eocarcaria or sometimes Armatus, but never Maximus. You never see Maximus. And taking it on is, of course, Lillian Sturtis. <laughs> At this point, I may as, may as well have just had Team 6 as the, the default team. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how Maximus does, because we've seen how effective an armored dinosaur can be in this trial. So I'm, I am really intrigued to see how Maximus fits. Oh, that's a plasma anchor. That's a good start from the storm. The storm did fail the first trial, so they do ideally need to get some points from this trial. They did get two points from the first trial, though. So they didn't walk away entirely empty-handed. But they do have to succeed in either this trial or the third trial. And if they pass in this trial, then they're probably going to be in the last 16. And things are looking good for them so far. Lillian Stern is struggling to get going. Ooh, but he got a hit on the board there. No jet shuriken though. A relief there for Maximus. And that tie with the plasma anchor should finish the job. That's two points on the board for the storm. And I'm sure with Maximus's bar filling up, they'll be looking for more. Right then, coming in next, we got the knobbed lizard, the Nodosaurus. Nodosaurus has seemed to be the finisher in this team. Which makes sense, because it is in the middle, so it's, it's taking on a dinosaur that's some, most of the time worn down by the Lillian Sternus. And it does have type advantage over Maximus, so this won't be easy for Maximus to get past. But yeah, another Plasma Anchor! Maximus getting really lucky with these times. Plasma Anchor will definitely help it. And the bar's filled up, so you know what that means. Well, first off, it means no more Plasma Anchors. Second off, it's time to enter the code. Jagama! Hmm. This will be interesting because a Spectral Lancer, unless it's a crit critical move, is not lethal against a Nodosaurus. So we'll see if a Spectral Punisher will kill it. Oh, the tie! A hit here gonna be huge for the storm. Oh, he doesn't get it! Oh, how massive could that be? That could be a big blow going forward. Nodosaurus gets the earthquake as well. And you know what that means. Maximus is going down. And a big opportunity missed from the storm. Right then, representing Black Beauty for this second trial, we have got a Deinonychus. Seen this guy a few times in, during this second trial. Black Beauty passed the first trial, so all they need is two points to get that magic seven. Interesting move set here. Got the tag team. You know, if things don't go well to uh, absorb some damage. Facing it, well, you know who it is. Ooh, that's a good start from the Black Beauty. A crit off the bat. Mm, but Lillian Sturness does respond with a strike back. And does a lot of damage, that heroic effect there playing out. Oh, tight. Mm, took a risk going for a scissors there, Dynamicus, but it paid off. Light recovery coming in as well. It's a solid start from Black Beauty. Getting some hits. Not taking too much damage. Oh, oh there you go, I jinxed it. <laughs> I say that. 
and they get hit. Okay, well, tag team did affect now. But the Dynamicus will not need that tag team yet. The Lillian Cerners goes down and has two points on the board for Black Beauty. And the Dynamicus did take a bit of a beating and his light recoveries are used up. Let's see if this Nodosaurus can finish it off. Ooh, another hit on the board for the Dynamicus. Not, not as much damage dealt though, so the tag team is in effect, the light recovery has maxed up though, that, is, that could be a problem. But it's not going to be a problem if Black Beauty keeps getting the hits. Ooh. Oh, well, there's, there's the uh, tag team. I don't know if tag team has uh, limits, or if you can only use it once. Like diamond stuff, but maybe maybe, it, maybe it's unlimited because it's a lot harder to trigger than um, Dino stuffer is. Papasaurus taking one for the team there. Oh, it's not gonna save him this time though. Is another earthquake. And the problem Black Booty has is that the recovery won't activate because the Dinopus isn't getting hit by crits. And I think, oh, definitely, it's in killing range now, so recovery's not going to do anything. Oh, he's a tie. Can the Deinonychus get this hit? Oh, it can get a hit. Can it? Will it be lethal? Oh, it's not. But favourable odds here for Black Beauty. Oh, it's an earthquake. The Nodosaurus hangs on. Unfortunately for Black Beauty, they are denied the extra two points, but they are walking away from this trial with two points, which will put them up to seven. But yeah, unfortunately, the Deinonychus just ran out of steam there because it didn't get hit by a crit, so the recovery couldn't activate. Right, let's move on to our next combat, shall we? Right then, represent, representing Ultra Lord in this trial we have got Paris Dinotector. So yes another armor dinosaur taking part we'll see how it fares. Or will it go down like a lead balloon like Dino Smashes did? Ultra Lord does need the points though because they did not get any from, from the first trial so they need at least two points here. And they'll have type disadvantage against you know who? Hmm. It's going to be an interesting one. The Paris, you know, if, if it can defeat the Lillian Sterners without taking too much of a beat in, it does have a good shot at, against the uh, Nodosaurus. That's a good start from Ultra Lord, a skydive. Boosh! And spinny smack! Good start there, decent damage. Elemental power will definitely help here. Ooh, a ninja attack coming in from the Lillian Sternus though. And a jet shuriken. That was a big shot from Lillian Sternus. Not good if you're Paris. Oh jeez, that was a lot of damage. Look at that all of a sudden. Oh, we got a tie. Oh, Lillian stood us yet again proving too strong. Down goes Paris. And wow, that was a uh, very unsuccessful there from Ultra Lord, and unfortunately, they're probably not going to get to the last 16 round, as they're not going to get enough points, even if they pass the third trial. Right then, representing Team Allo for this second trial, we got the Allosaurus Atrox. To be interesting. Team Allo tasted, I think they tasted success in the first trial. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. And, well, I, I'm not even going to go through this guy. Can 
Can you, can you Aloatrox defeat Lillian Sturness? Not with a start like that. Not with a start like that. And an he's heroic type as well, so this ninja attack's gonna do a lot of damage, even though he's not a crit. Oh, okay, okay, not, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. It's a tie. And this is not a good start for Team Allo. Not a good start at all. Okay, yeah, now, now I can see it. Now, the definite difference. Oh, no, no! The ninja attack's gonna finish the job. And the Aloe Atrox goes down like a lead balloon. And unfortunately for Team Allo, it is no points from this trial. Wow, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> right then, representing Aaron Plays for this second trial, we got Spinosaurus. I think this guy's the only guy using using Spinosaurus in this whole tournament, which is interesting because Spinosaurus usually sees a lot of play. Maybe there's a few for the third trial. I'm not sure. I have to double check. Taking on the Spino, we got Pinosaurus. Aaron plays will be eager to get off the mark in this uh, in these trials. The only other combat other than Ultra Lord to have zero points. And well, Aaron plays needs to get points on the board. But with Spinosaurus, I think they got a good chance. Tai. Ooh, Ocean Panic. Interesting. Kind of took me by surprise there. It's like, wait, hang on a minute, this guy is your sand trap, but not Ocean Panic. And that's a good start from the Spino. No shockwave effect though. Ooh. Could be costly, that could be. Another tie. Ties do favour Spino. Ooh, there's a hit on the board. A two and four a dive. This is a strong start from Aaron Plays. One hit and he'll be off the mark. Oop, that's another tie. And that tie will do it. Pinosaurus going down. And the Spinosaurus didn't take too much damage. Right, coming in next, we got Delta Dromius. If the Spino can defeat this Delta Dromius relatively quick, he's got a good chance of the 3 0 because the Spletosaurus comes in next. And the Spino will have type advantage. See how this plays out. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, now ties could be a problem here because this Delta Dromius is charged up. Here comes the atomic bomb. Wah, boom, boosh. Ooh, nollets. Things not looking good here for the Spino. Oh, that's a crap. Wow. Just when I see someone has a good start, they get smoked straight away. <laughs> well, at least Aaron plays it off the mark. Oh, look at the look at the ankle, like buckled backwards. Yeah, that's Spinosaurus then walking. <laughs> well, it's not doing anything because it's dead. Unfortunately for Aaron plays, is only two points from this trial. But at least they're off the mark. Right, on to our final combatant now. Right, our final combatant in this trial. Mr. For Mr. Dinosauria, we got a Apatosaurus. Mr. Dinosauria didn't didn't get any didn't succeed in the first trial, but did get off the mark with two points. So they do need some points here, but if they don't get any, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Taking on the Apatosaurus, we got the we got the thunder from down under, <laughs> the uh, the Mutasaurus. <laughs> We've seen this guy cause a few um, combatants and problems during this trial. Now, what I find interesting about this Apatosaurus is very much a tie specialist. It's got the tie attack and the tie breaker, and I think it is tie defense type. Well, it should be, but 
is not, that's not a good start. A power drain right off the bat. Yeah, shock the life. Oh, that's a tight. Ooh, that's a crit from the Apatosaurus. A tiebreaker coming in as well. Good response, that, from Dinosauria. And if this Apatosaurus lasts long enough... Oh, look at that. Sec its secret move will get triggered. Oh, but that's a metal wing. But the secret move has been triggered, though, so this will not do much damage. Type advantage will be a thing here now that the secret move has been activated. So we could probably tank another metal wing. Doesn't really want to, though. The tie. Another tie. Ah, oh, there you go. There's the tie defense effect. Oh, it's a tiebreaker. And a crit. I mean, it's a bit overkill, but hey, at least we get to see it. Oh, the arc discharge there. Discharging his electrical might. And taking out the Mutnaburosaurus. A Patlosaurus, the true thunder from down under. <laughs> right, coming in next, we got that. We got Raj the Match. Yeah, I don't hold much hope for a Patlosaurus killing this guy. Based on how badly of a beating it took against the um, the Verasaurus. Bum, 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 bum. But hey, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong more times than I've been right. And this time though, but this time though, I am right. And the Vagasaurus comes in to finish the job. So unfortunately for Mr. Dinosauria, it is only two points from this trial. Which means, well, they're going to have to succeed in the third trial to have any hope of getting into that last 16. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the second trial. The Gauntlet Trial, as I like to call it. Right, I will quickly go through the table and see where everyone is positioned. And then we can end the session. So, yeah, that's the table, ladies and gentlemen, as it stands. So, yeah, we have Dino fans topping it with 14 points. Being the only combatant to actually pass both trials, amazingly. Then we have uh, Master Shun in second on 12, Dino Hunter on 11, and then somehow Dexin Winters in fourth on nine points. So yeah, I put Dexin in fourth because, let's be honest, completing the second trial is way more impressive than doing the first. <laughs> Sorry, Keontae, but you're still you're still in fifth, so you're still doing well. And then we have Navan in sixth on eight points, and then we have. A bunch of guys on seven points and a bunch of guys on five points and then we have the bottom bottom lot by it we have shy guy on six the only one down here actually no quite a few of you have got points from both trials but shy guy has six and then we have these three these four on four points getting four points from the second trial which again i think is more impressive than getting the two points from the first trial and then we have a bunch of guys on two points. And then poor old Ultra Lord with nothing. So, so far, everyone from Mr. Dinosauria up has done enough to qualify and will probably, and probably will qualify. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for the second trial. So, yeah, obviously the big surprise is that we actually had people who actually did it. Even though I said that I was pretty convinced that nobody was going to pass this trial, we had two successes. So, yeah, well done to them, those guys. Now, on to the hardest trial of them all. Trial 3, where you get a showdown against me. And until then, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.